and welcome to the shop. I've been meaning to do more videoing around here, but there's just a lot of stuff and not always a good place to just hang a camera, mount the GoPro, uh, use the bigger camera. Um, and I've got, got a project here that I wanted to get some nice video of and let's make that better. Um, what I've got is, I've got a couple of these nice little t uh, hangers, quarter 20 studs, one up on the ceiling right there. And since the whole place is drop ceiling, things I can clip onto that, run a pole down, and then mount the GoPro, or if it's sturdy enough, put the bigger camera on it. That way I can then move them anywhere around in the shop, focus on, on what I'm working on that I want to get video of. Be at the table saw, be over here at one of the workstations, the anvil, you know, the hydraulic press, or what I'm going to be doing today is this table right here next to the table saw. I could just mount this tripod on the table saw, point it down to the workspace, and it would cover what I need to do. But it could pull some sight lines from other things, and it wouldn't really help me get going forward when I'm doing the next project, which is tearing down that piece of plywood on the table saw. It would be in the way. So I want something that's up above head height that I can position around at where I'm going. So with that thing already in the ceiling, we'll start with uh, seeing how long we want that to be. So if we go up to that and come down to about four head height, we got about four feet. So let's get some steel out of the rack. We've got this piece, this nice little rusty piece of three quarter inch pipe. We got plenty more than four feet on that. We'll get that over to the saw and get that cut up. Let's we'll get this fed in. Lined up. Clamped. And now that we've got two of those, time to go get them cleaned up and weld some ends on them. So it's been a couple weeks since I've made the 
the camera hangers, and the, the GoPro works pretty well on them, but it really helps to be able to use the voice commands or the phone remote because they do get a little bit of a pendulum swing when you're handling it directly. So having the phone for viewing and starting and stopping works a lot better. Um, but so far I'm happy. It's allowed me to, to not worry about knocking over the tripods or anything else when I'm doing it. So we'll see how they keep going and hopefully they can help me get some better footage and not worry so much about setting it up. So till next time.